for it. Yeah, Vinny. <laughs> Pretty fish. All right, here we are heading up that trail. We're about halfway, there's a bear sign-in sheet. Make sure you guys hit that up, um, just for fun anyway. But you might see a bear up here and uh, lots of people today. But I'm gonna keep heading up this trail and uh, see if I can't get on the spot before someone else does. Standing here at the trailhead, one of the things to do is to take your rods out of your packs if you're carrying them in your packs I've gone down this trail so many times with everything hanging off of me and it's just worth it to hold them in your hands so as we get headed down this trail get all geared up make it down the trail safely it's going to be really slick because all the rain um, and it's in some spots it's pretty much straight up and down it seems like going down in there but we're going to head down that trail and uh, see if we can't get on the spot. Yes, baby. Maybe I can take that out for him. It's like that. Check this out. Made it out to the Russian River and uh, out here fishing, and the fish just keep pouring into this thing. Look at this. See if you guys could see that. Every one of those gray spots over there are fish. All sockeye. See those sockeye swimming around? Oh man, all the way, all the way down the river, all the way down the river, it's like that. I mean, just filled in there from the top to the bottom and they just line up like that and they, they head up towards the falls. Look at all those fish. Oh man. <laughs> gotta get out here when you can those things it only takes them like a day and they could be completely gone all the way up there to the falls and if you if you don't get here on time they'll all be gone so make that time guys all right Vinny, show us how it's done check out uh alaska small craft adventures cool. very nice very nice for the like button. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. There, that is a beautiful hook for that. In the mouth. Right there. <laughs> Russian River Sockeye 2023. 
up here, right here with my best friend Vinny, just getting it done. What a time. Check that fish out. Look at that thing. Woo! That one's coming home with me all day. All day. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Oh. Oh. There we go. Be tame. Be tame. Very nice. Very nice. There it is. There it is. All right, guys. Which one was better? Which one was better? Uh, Vinny's, Vinny's clinic or Ryan's clinic. If you watch the video and you saw us doing mouth shot sockeye hookups like this, you saw Vinny's, now you're seeing mine. <laughs> Which one was superior? Which one was your favorite? Go ahead and comment below. Check that baby out. Woo! Yeah. All right, Vinny. Tell me about what you're doing right now. I just got a steel brush. What I'm doing, I'm scraping up the fish, getting the scales off. Descale, uh, descale them. Slime is scaled in, not very slime, slimy, but like, I mean, once you get this- uh, It's a pretty nice fish. Yeah, see, see how it comes off? Oh yeah. And then when we go to flay them and put them in bags, you're not getting all that slime and scale yeah, on yeah. your meat as well, so. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, cause when you, when you cut these things open, when you cut these things open out here in the wild, you'll see people, and a lot of people do it, I mean, whatever, but they'll cut them open and then they dunk them right into this water and then the meat is like soaked at that point. So what Vinny's gonna do, he's gonna scrub all the slime off of them like this, descale them, get the slime off of them, and then when he fillets them, there won't be any slime in there, and there won't be any blood on the fillets, and they can go right in the bag without dunking them in the water, so you're not taking home soaking wet fillets, and they're not slimy when you get home. So it just takes takes a little bit of work, but worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Save your meat. You yeah. worked so hard for it. Yeah. 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 All right. Vinny's gonna show us a trade secret. Something, something that we learned over the years. Watch this first cut when he, when he fillets this fish. Look how he turns it up, holds it like that, goes down. Look at that. Take that belly off there. Get those fins out of the way and open up this fillet for action. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Number 3,256. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick what to bring shot here, you guys, since I'm thinking about it. Um, as we're out here, always net, fly rod or fishing pole, backup pole, backup pole, <laughs> of course, fish bonker, your knife and a, a sharpener, a steel, water, bring water out here. There's no water to drink out here, waterproof bags and rain gear in case the, in case the skies open up on us. Uh, make sure you bring that. 
uh, fillet table. You can you cannot use the plastic version. This is a fold out plastic fillet table. Uh, some of the rocks down here are really nice. You can see Vinny over here. He's he's cleaning up. Look at the look at this. Look at these fillets, you guys. Tell me that isn't premium, Vinny. Good job. <laughs> premium. Look bags of that bags of that and more to go more to go but uh bring bring a stringer you gotta have a stringer out here and uh i see a lot of people wearing hip boots it's not gonna fly out here you do one slip on the rock you're full you're wet you're having a bad time uh full waders and waiting boots Vinny, how many fish are you fitting in there three whole ones three whole fish you can get nothing, nothing enough. gallon size bags will only hold three you get the two and a half gallon size you can put six in there um, to pack these out if you're wondering about that uh, your backpack and uh, plenty of fishing tackle I just saw a guy Vinny and I both just saw a guy leave here with one fish because he he, he bought a cheap rod brought it out here and the the actual reel snapped off of the rod it was uh, irreparable so he ended up walking out with one fish and a broken fishing pole so we always bring backup rods because you don't want to be without that's for sure it's just a little bit of extra weight in your pack and totally worth it um, when you come out here the last thing i would uh, i would recommend is bringing uh bug spray if you don't like the mosquitoes so um definitely bring some bug spray if if you don't want to get attacked by these uh bugs when it's hot out in the middle of the day the bugs are they're gone they're not out but as it gets a little bit darker and cooler they swarm out of the woods so make sure you're ready for that how'd it go Vinny? Oh, pretty good. Still got a lot of work to go. <laughs> to yeah. Still got to hike out of here. Yeah. The bike ride, the fun bike ride out of here. Yeah, the so. bike ride's the best. Yeah. The bike ride's the best. All right. I'm going to get back at it, too. Uh, we're going to work on packing these fish up, get them in the backpack, and hike up that hill. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> 12. 12. 12. 12. I only have six in mine. <laughs> all right everybody we're wrapping up today's episode out here at the russian river was absolutely rocking if you guys haven't been out get out here it's it's happening and as we know it the uh the run will be gone if you wait too long so right now it's full uh, there's lots of people, but everybody's catching fish and rotating in and out. So totally worth doing. I got, I got my limit. Vinny got his limit. Yeah. And, yeah. And and we actually ended up going out a lot heavier than we came in. So full packs as we bust down this trail on our way back to climb up out of this canyon. All right, guys. We sure thank you for tuning into this episode. Thanks for subscribing and liking these videos. You guys make it worth doing. You guys want to get out here and get on some of these fish. Stay tuned. Have a good one. Thank you.